this conversation. Let's break in and now make a little drama out of it so the young folks can catch it. The sun had just set or was setting across the horizon in the west when its last glimpses on the Sea of Galilee. I can see the brawny muscles of the big fisherman as he was pushing the little boat by the stern as the bow of it pushed out into the water. The people standing on the banks waving and crying as he finally got the little boat off the gravel into the water, climbs up to the middle of the boat where his brother Andrew was sitting by the side of an oar and tuck his place. They'd make a stroke or two and then wave to the people on the bank. Stroke or two and wave to the people on the bank. After a while, as dusk began to set in, they were out of sight now. And it must have been young John. He was the youngest among them. It must have been he that waited a moment, stopped his oaring for just a few moments to catch a breath as he had quite a distance yet to go across Galilee. And when he stopped to get his breast, he must have said something like this as he wiped the perspiration from his face. He said, Brethren, we can rest assured that the man that we are following is not a fake. The day when I stood over his shoulder and watched him take those little fishes and break them in two and watch no sooner than he broke, there come another part of a cooked fish out. And I see him take that bread and break that bread and hand to the brethren. Every time he broke a piece of bread off, no sooner than his hand left, there was another piece of bread there. I want to ask you, what kind of an atom did he turn loose? Not wheat. Bread already baked. He bypassed the oven. Like he did his first miracle in Canaan. That water would eventually become wine. It went up through the vines into the grape, crushed out, become wine. But he bypassed all of that. He was a creator himself. So in the great resurrection, he'll bypass uh, Papa... Mama, give birth to this. He'll speak and we'll come from the dust. Like he did Lazarus. And John must have said, You know, today has been a day that settled all doubts in my mind. No matter how much that the rabbis and the teachers of this day say that he isn't God, I know he is. For I remember my mother reading me out of the sacred scriptures in the scrolls of Exodus. How that when they were hungry, like these people were today, God brought bread down out of heaven and laid it up on the ground. So when I seen, I said to Mother, Mother, has God got a big oven up there to bre- bake that bread? She said, No, honey. God is a creator. Yes. And when I seen him break that bread again today, I know that was that same creator. Did not he look like Jehovah when he stood there looking up on the multitude and breaking this bread and passing it out? I was minded of the Bible stories that my mother used to read to me about Jehovah feeding his people bread out of the heavens. And today, Jehovah remains the same because today, brethren, we have seen Jehovah break bread and give it to his people again and multiply. He surely must be what he says he is, the Son of God. Oh,